Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in PHP using PDO objects how to bind data into a drop down list, which is a select option from MySQL database using stored procedure. I'm reloading the browser and notice the drop down control select option which contains the EMP name, the employee names from this stored procedure. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in PHP, first we'll check the table and the column names. The table name I'm using employee details which contains three columns, employee ID, EMP name and join date. Now my aim is using store procedure, I want to bind this EMP name column into a drop down control using stored procedure. So let's create a new stored procedure in the sample db database. I'm selecting the procedures. Let's create a procedure add routine. The procedure name is EMP details sp. The type is a procedure only and the parameters I don't require so I'm dropping this parameter and the definition select EMP name which is a column name from the table name is the EMP details employee details sorry let's create this stored procedure click go and here we got a message EMP details SP has been created and also notice at the bottom EMP details SP let's execute and here we got the results of this Store procedure which contains a column name EMP name. Now let's bind this EMP name column into a drop down control using this store procedure. I'm using Notepad for this tutorial. Notice in this Notepad, which contains a simple HTML code with header tags h1, h2, and one horizontal line. Let's save this file. Before writing the coding part in PHP, First, we'll check the basic output how it looks at designing part on the browser. And here is the output. Right now, this code contains only header tags. Now, let's add the select option, which is a drop down control. We'll bind this EMP name data using stored procedure. After the horizontal line, I'm adding PHP code, PHP, now in this PHP snippet I'm adding the first my database variables dollar hostname is equals to localhost dollar db name which is a database name, the database name is a sample tv. dollar username is equals to root dollar password notice here the password I'm leaving blank because I don't have any password to log into my SQL PHP my admin if you have any password please enter that one after adding the connection variables dollar con is equals to new PDO I'm adding the connection variables, the connection string coming from the MySQL colon host is equals to our host is a host name dollar host name. This variable I'm adding semicolon. The next parameter I'm adding the DB name. The database name is a dollar DB name. The next parameter is the username and the last one is a password. After adding the connection string, next we'll write the query to call the stored procedure. Dollar SQL is equals to between double quotes. 
I am adding my stored procedure name here. So what I am doing just I am copying this whole part. The procedure name call. After calling the stored procedure in this SQL query variable. Let's add the try catch block. Try catch exception dollar ex is a variable. Now in this try block, I'm binding the data, the employee name. I'm getting the results from this emp detail stored procedure dollar stmt statement is equals to dollar con prepare method in this prepare method i am adding dollar sql object let's execute the statement dollar stmt statement execute method dollar results is equals to dollar stmt I'm adding the fetch all methods that's it in the try block now in the exception echo dollar ex get message method now once we fetch the records I want to display in the drop down control so for that we require the HTML tags so after the PHP code I am adding select I am closing the select tag option the default heading of the select employee now let's bind the column emp name into this select option for that I'm using for each loop dollar results this object because we have fetched all the results in this object dollar results as dollar output This is a PHP code, we have to add the PHP tags. Let's close this PHP tag also. Option, I'm closing the option tag. Now in this option, I'm adding PHP code because the dollar output will be in square brackets in the double quotes. I'm adding the column name, which is a EMP name. at the semicolon that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results save the file I'm reloading the browser and notice the drop down control select option which contains the EMP name the employee names from this stored procedure that's it